Idiot Mama! It's Glitch Rama! Traditionally, you will always hear bagpipe music being played on St. Patrick's Day. But don't think that you have to go out and buy yourself a whole set of bagpipes. You can make your very own from stuff you just have laying around the house. Welcome to our workshop, everybody. This is where we make all the props for Glitcherama, and we do so on the cheap, like that horse head back there. We made this out of paper mache and an old cardboard box. And paper mache is just flour, water, and old newspaper. And I got the old cardboard box and the newspaper off a of hobo. So it's just lying around. Now this severed head back here, that's from our Zombo the Undead Clown sketch. And we made it just from Wad's old bubble gum that I found stuck up underneath the tables in the food court at the Galleria. Just a reminder, if you are ever out at the mall and you're shopping and you notice me creeping around underneath the tables, don't call the police. I'm being creative. And this gorilla back here, he's our mascot. And I made him out of chicken wire and the hair from Scott's back. Scott sheds like an Alaskan Malamute, and I believe that's a dog. All you gotta do is walk behind Scott, and you can just pick it up by the handfuls. Do not tell Scott that's where I got the hair. I told him that's the hair that used to be on top of Jamie's head. <laughs> now bagpipes are normally really expensive. They're like over a hundred dollars. I know, but I'm gonna show you how to do it the Glitcherama way, on the cheap. You'll need some party favors and noisemakers. You'll need a balloon, you'll need some duct tape, and you'll need some pixie sticks. Now you probably have most of those items laying around your house, but all those party favors, where'd you get those? You know on a weekend, if you have ever been to a public park on a weekend, and there's like a poor family having their kid's birthday party out there? Play this sound really, really loud, right here. That's a, it's an air raid sound. And you just go running through the park, screaming, they're coming, they're coming. They just leave everything behind. You'll just find stuff just laying around. So let's make us some bagpipes. Warning, when working on this or any other home project, you must be properly attired in appropriate gear. Safety first. That's right, you must be properly attired in appropriate gear. Let's begin. <laughs> Let's start with the pixie sticks. First, you have to cut off the tip. I feel like we should have a rabbi here. Ta da! There is a problem, however, in that when wearing our masks, we cannot eat it, the pixie stick stuff. So we'll cut a small hole in the mask. Let's cut my glove. There we go, problem solved. And now we can eat our pixie stick. Mmm, that's really sweet. This one's raspberry. That's really sugary. Okay, here's a warning. Don't eat nine pixie sticks. <laughs> Ta -da! I present to you, ladies and gentlemen, the very first St. Patrick's Day official Gucciarama homemade bagpipes. Now, if you want to know what this sounds like, you gotta wait just a second. I'm a world premiere it with Scott and Jamie when I meet up with them again. Until then, remember, if you want to make something, all you need is stuff just laying around and the appropriate motivational audio clip. Godzilla is approaching.